As spring practice number one for South Carolina has come to a close, let's take a step back. Let's take a step back to where this team was a year ago in comparison to where they are now. You hear all those fancy buzzwords all the time, right? You hear about the energy, how the cultures change, but what really has changed? What is different heading into this spring in comparison to where this team was a year ago when Shane Beamer first arrived? I think the biggest thing is just guys knowing what we expect and, and the tempo that you know we had the, that we want to practice with and and you know I, I remember going out there day one last year and and having the scream and yell and, and about finishing plays and running to the ball and all that stuff and, and not that we didn't have to today but guys know you know what to what to expect and I think that's the biggest thing is last year everything we were doing Mike was for the very first time it was the first time we had ever been out there to practice tomorrow would be the first uh, walk through meeting day that we had guys the returners at least you know know um, you know know what to expect and, and and that's probably the you know the biggest thing for me how we do things and and what's expected of everyone is uh, a little bit better understood this year and then I think also the the new guys that we have brought in whether it be high school or, or college transfers, you know, they've really come in and, and um, have, they've, they've forced everybody around them to elevate their games even more so as well on and off the field with what they're doing. And, and uh, they're older guys that are, you know, here uh, uh, on a purpose. South Carolina will hold a walkthrough tomorrow before returning to the practice field on Thursday for practice number two. Offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield and defensive coordinator Clayton White will meet with the media tomorrow starting at 1230. Reporting from the USC Ops Building, Mike Yuva, Gamecock Central.